Hey Parker, I totally get what you mean in your video. I, I can understand the other side, but like, you, you know, I, I can see both sides. Leave it at that, I understand. I do appreciate you playing devil's advocate. So as the title suggests, I am, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like this close to the end of finals. I am literally as, well, after this video goes up, I'm going to be writing my final final, which is a philosophy final. It's basically like question and answer, and I'm so happy. There are words on this, it's not a blank sheet. See, there are words, but I'm so happy that it's like not a test. And so as like every single semester ends, I'm like reminiscing on this semester. Oh man, I, I could have done better in this class. I could have done more. I could have done the extra credit. I could have done this. I could have done that. There's always lots of regrets, but then there's also like the pride of like, I've gotten through another semester successfully, I haven't failed anything majorly yet, I'm on track, I'm, I'm, I'm I just submitted the papers, I'm a creative writing minor, social work major still, cause you know that, I love it. And ultimately, no matter how much I regret, like, oh man, I know I could have gotten an A in this class if I had just, you know, tried a little bit harder, studied a little bit more, I'm always so proud that like, I, I accomplished it, I passed. I don't have to take it ever again, which is always very nice to hear. And also, with always, I, I the finals crunch is mostly over. And I, you know, I kind of wish that, like, I don't procrastinate and I really need to work on that. And I always say I'm going to. Getting through another, each semester in college, like, just makes me very proud of myself as a person. It's like, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing well, I'm I'm where I want to be, and that's always something I like to try and remind myself, no matter how down in the dumps I get, I'm where I want to be, I'm doing what I want to do, I'm in a good place, and I love that. And so I'm on my final final of the semester. It also doesn't seem too difficult. Also, another thing, one thing I do hate is that um, a lot of my professors like to give out minimum word requirements. And maximum not maximum but like minimum word requirements and minimum length requirements and I hate that because I like to get straight to the point um, and I, I always feel like I'm just adding useless fluff I like to get straight to the point I like to answer the question and not need to do anything else but it never is that simple because like they like length and I don't I just want to get it over with I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with that there is a length minimum and I'm going to accept that because it is also a take-home final which is nice. I actually only had two in-person finals which was glorious because I don't like taking tests ever. I always get very nervous especially because I can't like I hate sitting over and checking my work and second guessing myself and I also hate that even then I'm a lot of the times one of the first people to leave the class which is like such a such a horrible complaint to have and I always feel like when I leave the class first I just feel like that's like setting me up for failure and it's just the whole thing is anxiety inducing and I also work better with music because I can't deal with silence but Parker uh we'll see if Christmas gets taken off I might have time to shoot a uh extra video in that in the time between which I think I'm going to Oh, also, Parker, since you like playing Devil's Advocate so much, um, I'm going to recommend you a television series. Not really television, but um, I am seven episodes through The Man in the High Castle, which is a alternate history retelling where um, it's like the 1950s and Nazi Germany and Japan have like won World War II, and it is just like sort of exploring what might have happened if that was the case. I usually don't like things to do with like history in general especially like war things, but this is a very interesting take on it and I like how you kind of actually even sympathize with these people, sympathize with Nazis in it and I, I like, I definitely stand for against like everything Nazi ideology stands for, obviously, but um, I'm also reading the book I literally just got in the mail and I've just started, so I'll let you know, but the TV series is very good and since you like playing Devil's Advocate, maybe you'd like seeing someone play devil's advocate on their side. That's all I have today, so, um, you know, thank you for giving me your perspective. I always do really appreciate it, and you, your language is perfectly fine. For me, pretty much, I'm always fine with whatever language people use, as long as it's not used in a malicious way. But, uh, Parker, I will see you tomorrow, DFTBA. Stay super. Bye. Woo.